I received the following comment from no name. What do you mean by compilers? Is C-sharp similar to Java? The compiled byte code, which runs on a C-sharp VM. So let's have a look at what actually happens. So you have your source code. Source code could be written in C-sharp, in VB.NET, or other .NET languages. Because remember, all these languages are .NET. So wherever you can write in .NET, that's your source code. Unlike Java, which you only write in one language, with .NET, you could actually pick any language that you want. So here, then you have a compiler. And this is what I meant by compilers. So you've got your C-sharp compiler, because it needs to know the syntax of C sharp language. You've got the VB.NET compiler because it needs to know the VB.NET rules. And then you've got other languages such as the F sharp. So it would know about how to compile that. So each language would have its own compiler. All that code is then converted into bytecode, which is what you might say with bytecode in Java as well. But Java is only one language here. You've got multiple languages. So that is then converted into what used to be called the Microsoft Intermediate Language. And then at one point it was called the Intermediate Language Code. And now it's called the Common Intermediate Language Code. This is because the these all get converted into a common language here. And then you've got the metadata here, which is used internally by the compiler to try keep track of a few things. So that's our bytecode. And then what sits on top of that is the just-in-time compiler. So this is a bit like the JVM. And what it does is it converts the bytecode into runnable machine code that is compatible with your operating system and your hardware. And that will convert it to native or machine code. And then that gets executed by the CPU with the help from the operating system. And this is what none of the native code. So here, you've got the compile time. So that's what I mean when things get compiled. So each language, for example, will have its own specific rule syntax that all gets converted into bytecode. And that bytecode will then run natively on the machine. So what does actually the runtime do? So runtime, it is like the JVM, Java Virtual Machine, but it is known as the common language runtime. And it provides things such as type safety, security. So for example, it verifies for buffer overflows and bad casting and so on. And also decide what the code can access. So for example, resources it can access. So it provides the safety element over here, just like the JVM does. Exception handling. So again, error handling is managed by the common language runtime. And of course, it makes the language compatible because essentially it is hooking to some native code as well. So code written in C sharp versus code written in C++ and any other native code. So it allows your code to communicate with other DLL files, other .exe files, and so on, as well as providing compatibility within, within itself, such as the other languages in the .NET framework. And then you've got the element, which is garbage collection. So here, garbage collection is very important because it changes the objects in memory that are no longer in use, so you don't have to manually free up like you do in C, C and C++. So I hope this makes sense in terms of the entire process and what it does. So you get your source code, it converts it to bytecode in your Java virtual machine, what you might say, or the common language runtime that runs the code on the operating system and hardware. But the common language runtime manages all these things. Then the compiler, when it does compile, it, it's just specific to language features and nuances that the language has to deal with.